package, they better. I do not give no time to you. Haters do not matter. Hop in the cup, it's made for two. I got the sauce, baby, I got the juice. Without you, what would I do? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. <laughs> So today guys, I'm going to be having a little girl talk with all my ladies, all my girls, um, to help you guys out with down there, okay? So with the scent and all that stuff, I know a lot of people get really like sad, discouraged because, you know, some people just say, oh, my thing smells like flowers and it smells like cotton candy and it smells like this, smell like that, but in reality, that's not how it works, okay? It's not gonna always just smell like really good and stuff if you guys don't do certain things. Down there has a natural smell, okay? Like, it obviously is gonna have a natural smell because, you know, it's just, it's like anything else. Like, if you're sweating a lot, your armpits are gonna stink, okay? Like, it's literally just our bodies, literally natural, and you don't got to worry about it at all. So, don't get sad to think that you stink and. You know, it's supposed to smell like flowers and, you know, because no, it's not reality. But today I'm going to be giving you guys 10 tips on how to keep down there nice and fresh and make you just feel more good about yourself. So I'm just going to get right on into the 10 tips. Okay, so the first tip is eat healthy and drink lot, lots of water. So I think eating healthy definitely does help because whatever you put inside your body is going to be the outcome. Like, if you really eat really bad, then that's when it starts to smell. If you re eat really good, like fruits and fibers and stuff like that, it will smell very, very fresh and very nice. Um, it's just whatever you put in your body is going to basically tell you how down there it's going to smell. So if you're going to eat a Wendy's meal, then it's going to smell really bad down there. If you eat like fast food for like a whole week, then it's going to be smelling bad down there because it's what you're eating and what you're putting in your body. Water definitely does help. It's just like with when you drink water, your skin gets very nice and clear and like, ah! But if you don't drink water, you drink a whole bunch of bo uh, pop, juice, um, gator, like stuff like that, like juicy, um, juice things and stuff that have a lot of sugar in it, then your face will get pimples. Like you'll get pimples all over your face, you don't clean your face and stuff like that. So drinking lots of water will definitely flush everything down and it will just make you smell very good down there and you'll be like, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Um, but I know I'm doing this video because I feel like a lot of people are very in insecure about down there And I used to be very insecure as well about down there Like I'm just like, you know, like why is it like why sometimes it smells like this and stuff like that So I just want to do this video to help out all my young girls and all You know, any girl that's watching this video Um, this definitely help you and you know, I just want to help you guys out Um, the second tip is shower on a daily basis, like shower regularly um, I think that that also helps and makes your mix down there very like fresh and just keep fresh and stuff so that if you like sweat, you're naturally going to sweat down there. So if you're sweating and stuff, it will just help clean it and cleanse it and stuff like that. Um, the next one is wear cotton underwear. So cotton underwear is basically like it lets your... Um, it lets down there. <laughs> Breathe a lot more than if you have like... Um, like a what's it called like a silky a silky type of underwear so if you guys have I don't know if this one is actually cotton this is the one that I use in my thumbnail and um, this one still has a tag and stuff on it but if it's not a hundred percent cotton then it might be very like it might be not good so this one is not actually that much cotton it's like you guys can't see it, but 17% elastin, elastin, 83, nylon, like, just a whole bunch of things. So if it's not 100% cotton, then you need to dash, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but, uh, like, cotton just definitely makes your, your kitty, like, makes it breathe and makes it just feel like fresh air type of thing. It's not trapped in there, you know? It's just like if you're, just like with anything else. Like if you guys have socks on for a really long time, your, your feet can't breathe and that's when it'll start to stink. And if you like sweat down there and stuff like that, that's when it starts to stink. And that's the same thing with your kitty is that it will start to like suffocate basically because there's no air that's breathing through. So definitely cotton underwear definitely do help. 
Um, the next one is don't wear an underwear when you're going to bed. That definitely does help so, 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 so bad, okay? So, um, you guys are not going anywhere, you know? So why not just go to bed, lay down in your bed, go to sleep without underwear. And the whole entire day, you have underwear on, you have, like, if you don't wear underwear during the whole day and you're going out, baby, what are you doing? But you should be having an underwear on, but, um... If you're just sleeping and stuff, you're not going anywhere, then definitely just have make that time for um, down there to just breathe and have its fresh air and be all good and say, they're going to say hallelujah. I'm just kidding, but, you know, just make it, like, very, um, let it just breathe, you know? Like, that's just all you need for it to do is just breathe and um, not letting it just stay stuck, like, in one specific place and just, it's not really good. So definitely, if you guys are having that issue, then don't wear underwears when you're going to bed because that really does help. Okay, the next one is stay away from tight clothing. This is another reason why, this is like another one that you can say because it makes you breathe, like makes down there breathe. Um, because if you're consistently wearing jeans and stuff like that and or tights, like, Again, suffocation, okay? Like, it's literally suffocating down there because you're not letting it breathe. Um, I keep saying breathe because that's literally how I can describe it, but if you're wearing joggers, I love wearing joggers. I don't know. I'm not, like, just because of that, but I just love wearing joggers. I like to feel comfortable. So, yeah, wearing sweatpants and stuff like that, then that doesn't that helps a lot. But if you're going out, you know, you want to be fancy, you want to wear jeans and stuff like that, then that's good. But when you come home, then that's just when you should just take those jeans off, wear some sweatpants, or just wear some really loose shorts. Like, any shorts, just wear some loose shorts so that um, it doesn't, like, stink and just get really clustered in there, in your underwear and stuff. Um, the next one is don't you use harsh products because your kitty is naturally going to cleanse itself. It's a cleansing, a cleansing organ. So it already cleanses itself. So by you putting harsh products, washing in, washing down there, like with, with all these different type of things, like body wash, you should not be like body wash where you like spade your skin. You should not be putting down there and like washing in there. You should not be doing that because that's definitely going to throw off your whole pH balance, and it's gonna make you like baby like sting and it also can cause infections as well if you guys do it too much or if you guys go way too up in there you guys can cause infections and i do not want you guys to do that do that to yourself so please don't use harsh products up in there because it will just throw everything off there's like um what is it vagicil like that body soap that definitely does help but because it says, like, it's dermatol it's like dermatologist or the doctor, like, said that it's good. Um, that helps, but honestly, I feel like since I stopped using that, I saw a difference. I used to use it, I thought it was actually good for me, but then I just realized it really wasn't, and I was, like, it just was not doing what I wanted, so I just stopped using it, and then I, when I stopped using it, I saw a difference, a very good difference, so I just feel like just stay away from all those products. Use warm um, water to go down there. I think you shouldn't use too cold because, you know, that's uncomfortable, and you, you shouldn't use too hot because it'll make it more sweaty, so I think just warm water will be great for it, and it's just... It's just like when you're bathing your skin. You don't want too hot water. You don't want too cold because it's just uncomfortable. So, yeah. Um, and then the next one is keep dry down there. So once you're done showering, um, using a paper towel or using um, your your actual towel, um, just to make, like pat down there so that it keeps dry. Just because it, if it's more like wet and stuff, it will just be very moist. And that's when smells will just come and fume up in the air. <laughs> like, it'll just, it'll be, no. So, just keep down there very, very dry. Like, a dirty towel. Like, if you use a towel too much, um, and you don't, like, change your towels and stuff, it'll start to stink. Because you're just, you keep, like, 
showering with it and patting yourself with all that water and all that water is still in that towel so it starts to leave a smell it's just like that so um that i think that's a very good example pat on the back <laughs> uh, okay so the next one is wipe front to back so you don't want to wet like if you're using the washroom, you don't want to wipe like back to front. You don't want to wipe from your booty to your kitty, okay? It's your kitty to your booty, okay? Um, and I feel like that's just nasty if you do the other way because like you're just bringing all the nastiness up in there, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to take everything out, so you want to swoop the other way. You know what I'm saying? So, wiping the proper way is very very important because also if you do not wipe the proper way then you will have an infection and I promise you that you will have an infection um, I used to do that when I was like I don't remember um, when I was young and stuff I used to do the other way I used to do back to front yeah back to front and my sister was telling me that you shouldn't do that because you can get infections and you know it's just not just don't do it that way and i started doing the other way and i even saw a difference as well so i definitely recommend you guys do from front to back and not back to front so just wipe the proper way and you'll be good to go okay okay so the last one that i have for you guys is um it's just it's your personal preference. I know a lot of people, some people don't want to shave down there. Some people do shave down there. It's your personal preference. But I think that when you have a lot of hair down there, that's when it gets very compact and clustered, clustered down there. Okay. And um, it just makes it sweat a lot and get really hot easily. And it's just, baby, just shave. Okay, just shave. But if you don't want to... You want to keep it the natural way, go ahead and do you, boo. I'm not saying you should do it this way and that's the only way, but that's just a personal opinion. Like, you can do whatever you want to do, but, um, yeah. So, that's all my tips for you guys. I love doing these girl talks. I feel like they're just, like, very sit down and just talk to you guys. I love them a lot, but, um, yeah. So, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and like this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe up in these streets, baby. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys all stay safe. Just stay safe, clean your hands, be very, very clean because this virus is not a joke. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys on my very next video. Love you. Peace.